Well, look, the, the government doesn't speculate on decisions that the Reserve Bank uh, may be about to take. But uh, what we would say is that interest rates cuts are always welcomed by families and small businesses right around the country. I find it extraordinary that yesterday Mr Hockey was out there barracking for higher interest rates. Uh, let's not forget, when the Liberals were last in office, uh, Mr Howard once famously said interest rates will always be at record lows under the Liberals. But now it seems that Mr Hockey and Mr Abbott actually stand for higher interest rates. Uh, we believe well, 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 that... David, hold on. What, what did he actually say yesterday that you pinned that claim on? He said that um, interest rates should not be cut. No, no. Uh, what, that... what, what he said was when interest rates come down, it's a sign that the economy is not going well. That's what he said. He's not saying, well, well, I want well, higher the... interest rates. He's saying, when, when a Reserve Bank is forced to cut interest Sorry. rates, then and the economy is not going well. Are we having an argument here, or am I on air? I'm just trying to work that out. No, no, I'm just, I'm just putting the proposition to you. What he said was, if the economy is not going well, then interest rates get cut. That's what he said, didn't he? Well, uh, they also have a pamphlet that uh, Mr Abbott is brandishing around at every opportunity that says that under the Liberals, interest rates will be cut. Uh, there is a major uh, contradiction here in the argument that they're putting. Uh, if, if interest rates are not cut today, then Mr Hockey and Mr Abbott will be the only people in the country that will welcome that decision. No, that's uh, obviously... Think, David, that's, not, that's obviously not right. What he said was... Please, you, please, please, are you... Are you, um, no, are you I'm trying... Uh, I, I'm trying to get you to comment on what he actually said, not what you think he said. Well, he said if the economy is down, therefore interest rates will come down. What he's saying he is... Said, uh, what, I'll read you the quote. He yep. said, the fact of the matter is we should not be in a position where interest rates are being cut. Because of where the economy is. No, that's not what he said. He said that we should not be in a position where interest rates are being cut. David, on the one hand... Go on. Sorry, Glenn, are you, are you a Liberal Party member here or what's going on? No, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm I'm just, just trying, trying to... to you, you know the context of what he was saying, well, well, Mr. You're trying well, to twist it into that the, the Coalition wants higher interest rates, which you know is a nonsense. Sorry? You're trying to twist but, his you, comments into the fact... So what's your surname, Glenn? Daniel, why? This is extraordinary. I've, I've never experienced anything like this. Do you, you do this all the time? David, I'm just asking you a question. Well, uh, why don't we go back to you asking the questions rather than you making the case for the Liberals? Right. Uh, I'm happy to get grabs. I'm not, I'm not making the case at all for the Liberals. Well, all well, I'm saying is he's... To what you've just said. OK, so, so you're saying the Coalition believes in higher interest rates? Based on what they've said, yes. 